that. Where did you come up with the idea of doing a show while cutting hair? Well, I was, um, I went to a hair show in hair school, and uh, Mr. Rodriguez took me to this hair show, and I saw the hair show. So I go, and um, as soon as I get out, I tried to find a job doing platform. I wanted to be on that stage. When when I tried out for Zenon, 78 of us tried out, and two of us got picked, and he immediately threw me on stage. I was 19 years old. I was on main stage in San Antonio, Texas. And I took a little bit of what he had, which was his flair of dancing and moving around. And then I took another uh, flair of another team called the Altieri's, which was their speed. They're so fast when they cut hair. And so I took the dancing and the speed and I put it together and made up my own. And I had to make up my own because I don't look like anybody else in the industry. And even the first people who tried to hire me told me, you don't have it. Look at you. They said it just like that. Look at you. You're not tall enough. You don't have the look. You're, you're straight. There's a bunch of things that were supposedly against me, but in reality, it was nothing against me. It was just a matter of finding my own niche. Something that uh, impacted the industry my way, you know, the way I did it and nobody else was doing it that way. I just jumped on that stage and threw the rock and roll music on full blast, grabbed a head of hair and, and just cut it as fast as I could go. And now we're pretty much listed as the like, fastest hairdresser in the world. Did anybody in your family ever say, oh, that's not gonna work? Everybody, everybody said it. They got my sister cried. You know, she's like, what are you doing? I went to hair school, it's not gonna work. I go, what do you mean? Just because you did, went to hair school doesn't mean it's not gonna work for me. And so, every, yeah, it was a big, big challenge. I mean, just all the way around. And we have the largest crowds that you see all over the world. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's New York, LA, um, you know, in the middle of the Middle East, we have the largest crowds, but it's because we're doing real hair and for real people. So the audience are the hairdressers that work on these size eights to 16s. You know, these are the people that, that actually um, exist in our everyday salon life. I mean, it's, like I said, it's very rare you have that five nine size, you know, four grown woman just walk onto your floor and then get a haircut and walk out like it's some, you know, uh, hair commercial or something. No, it's real hair and real people, and I think that's what keeps the show real and it keeps everything alive. Is is, uh, is that? Skills USA when you were in high school? Did you cut in those hair cutting competitions? We had um, VICA. VICA was uh, the vocational organization and we had like a president and uh, I was the president <laughs> and then you have your treasurer and you had all this different stuff. You went and did competitions and I, I won first place in the state with a flat top one time. Yeah and uh, we had a lot of fun doing that. That was a lot of fun because it really pushed people beyond their limits and we were doing things outside of hair with that more of a business oriented like how to handle a proper meeting, how to take minutes, how to do all of these things and it's funny because we just formed our first LLC, you know, um, business partner and learning that in cosmetology is something that's reflecting now in my, it would be my, I guess, third business venture, you know, it's how to do the meetings and how to do your minutes and how to do, have your treasurer and have your president and have your vice president. And um, that same foundation, even it, even though it was cosmetology, was still there, you know. So you learned a lot more. We learned a lot more. Oh yeah, a lot more. How to speak and present and oh, interview absolutely. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really did, and they put you in front of everyone. You have to do this um, mock meeting and, and go and you know form your presentation and yeah, a lot of that came from from cosmetology. The presentation also came from cosmetology and uh, sales came from cosmetology. Learning how to sell not products but yourself. You're the biggest product in the salon. If you can't sell yourself, you can put billboards up all over town if you want to, but if you don't um, produce your work and that customer doesn't look good when they walk out the door, then nothing's gonna happen for you. If that's your biggest, biggest advertisement is your customer. 
but you have to know how to sell yourself to convince someone to sit down and allow me to throw these sharp shears around your head <laughs> and let me do my thing. Yeah, that's a big, big difference right there. Good luck. <laughs>